Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and I'm the author of the vlog CapturingWonderland.com. Today, my son and I are going to take out some nails, actually a lot of nails, and clean up these two by fours to use in other projects. They were given to me for free from my dad. He recently took apart an old project that they had on their property. And so I'm gonna utilize some free wood. So let's get to it. skilled in the uh, hammer swinging department. Many props go out to carpenters that use these things every day. They must have amazing hand muscles. Starlink box and I haven't completely opened it up yet. what I actually need for my measurements because I'm going to build a temporary structure to put this on until we receive our mount. Our mount is actually back ordered for another month and we're already paying for the service while we're waiting for the mount which seems kind of dumb but that's how it works. So I'm going to build a temporary structure out of that free lumber that I just received and install it temporarily until we can get our mount for the side of our house. So this is what I need to be able to get the measurements off. It has a hole on each one of these legs where you can bolt it onto a base. So that'll be really helpful. So I have the mount right there. And here's the dish, super fancy looking. And then it's just got the rest of the stuff in the box. Is there like little Ikea looking stuff here? 
very fancy equipment and it comes with a 100 foot cord that plugs directly into this. So I'm actually hoping to install it right off of our porch because that is the best, that will be the best for us. Okay, so I'm going to take the base. You know what you have to do with kids. You have to put like, everything away. Because if little hands get back in here, you will have trouble. square outside so let's go start building when you're dealing with free lumber a lot of times it's pretty ugly it doesn't have to be pretty but it does have to be structurally sound so I'm gonna cut off the ends that have some splitting and try to keep I always recommend cutting your longest pieces first just because you may have enough left over on a longer piece of wood once you've cut your longest piece to actually get a short one out of it too versus harvesting small cuts out of a large piece of wood and then running out and not having enough for your longest cuts. Remember you're cutting to be cutting on the right side of the line. This is my 12 inches, so I want to cut on the left side of the line. Now I'm turning the board over, so I want to cut on the right side of the line so that I get my full 12 inches. Got my 12 inch pile, my 18 and a half inch pile, and my 65 inch pile. So we're ready to start in putting it all together. So what I essentially did was make it the exact size of this, which was wrong. I needed it to be a couple inches bigger than that so that it would attach on the top. So what should have been 14 inches, I cut it 12 inches. It's not a complete loss, at least it was free wood. These are the kinds of things that I'm learning for you so that you don't have to make these kinds of mistakes. You essentially want to put all of those screws in at an angle. I went one from either side and it's going to feel wobbly until you get the top on it.
so what I did was basically use my two and a half inch outdoor screws, but I used a washer to make sure that it was not going to come loose at all. This baby is in there. And obviously this is just a temporary structure. I don't know if I would, what I would do differently if it was permanent, but this is sturdy enough that I don't have to be afraid that it's going to fly away in the wind. We're gonna have to buy some cable I don't know what they're called, but essentially to hold the cable so that we can tack it along our deck and run it into our house safely. We have children, so we have to take lots of precautions because obviously the cord is pretty important. But um, that's all I've got for tonight. So I'll go into more detail tomorrow. Bye. Well, it's moved. <laughs> but it definitely doesn't have any special lighting to tell you that it's working. It just does its thing. So we're gonna have to figure out a different solution for the cord, obviously. That's probably gonna be the hardest part is figuring that out. We would love to eventually actually put it up there on the side of the house so it will get unobstructed views from the night sky. 24 7 but as I said the um, the proper mount is actually back ordered and they won't be sending them out until mid-may so in order to use the internet that we're paying for currently we decided to go ahead and build a temporary structure to get it up just so we could start using the internet and for those of you that don't live rurally getting good solid internet is a real problem. We have been with two different carriers. One of them had higher speed internet, but we were paying sometimes $180 a month, which is just astronomical if you ask me. They get you started in with a low price of $30 a month, and then when your one year is up, they start hiking the rate substantially. So we canceled with that company and we went with a less expensive option, but unfortunately that less expensive option is not allowed to offer high speed internet. <laughs> so it was only 10 Mbps, which is super slow. And for two people that me and my husband both have online businesses and so we both have to have good, solid, fast internet. And we also have five children and they have their own electronic needs every now and then with audiobooks and whatnot. And it just wasn't doing it for us. The price was good, but the speed was terrible. So we finally took the plunge and got um, signed up with Starlink. And we were really excited because um, traditionally it said that we weren't gonna be able to get it until 2023 because all of this area was already accounted for. <laughs> But then a week after we ordered it, they actually told us that ours was ready. So we were able to get ours in fairly quickly. It's awesome. So we're really hopeful that the internet will meet our needs properly. And it's also kind of exciting because we really hope someday to move even more rurally than we already are. We actually live in a subdivision in a very small town. So... We're not as rural as you might think, but we still have very limited options as far as internet is concerned. And we would love to live on land someday on a homestead. And the options for internet there will be even worse than here, I'm assuming. So Starlink has opened up so much for people and met some very serious needs as far as internet. I mean, this is the world we live in, guys. Most of us need some type of internet, if only for inexpensive phone options, and we can now get an internet phone, which will be awesome for home phone. It's just really exciting for us. I am super excited. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks, friends, for watching all the way through if you've made it this far. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this content with anyone you think it would be helpful to. Thanks again. Bye.